All right, Rick, this is the largest of the boats that we brought. It's the Skeeter ZX225. And man, you know what I love about the bass boat industry? It has evolved so much that even the weekend anglers get the benefits of all the stuff that the tournament pros have developed over the years. They do, but the tournament pros haven't stopped developing. It keeps coming and it keeps coming and it keeps coming. Dave, this boat is designed for the freshwater fisherman that wants to compete at the highest level. His, he doesn't think about bass, he dreams about bass, okay? When he was saying his wedding vows, he was thinking about where a bass was spawning. This is the top of the food chain. It really is. You know what? This boat, she's fast, she's stable, and it's got everything laid out that a hardcore tournament guy would really, really want on a boat, but for the weekend guy out there that wants to fish just maybe some local club tournaments or really just enjoys bass fishing, there's no reason at all that he can't have the same rig. Dave, he wants this rig if he's got the dream. And don't we all have it at one time during our life? He wants to be able to compete. Maybe he never will, but he's got the opportunity to. He's got the avenue to explore whether or not he can catch bass at the highest level. Well, so many of the boats that we tested in best boat are saltwater boats. And you know what? The saltwater boats, I love them, but those guys just don't get it because everything in bass boat is comfortable. They're comfortable to sit in. They're comfortable to ride in. At the end of the day, you're not as fatigued. Everything about this boat says have a relaxing day on the water, but do it at a competitive level. Dave, it does. We can start right up here at the bow. How do you like that cushion under the bow casting platform up there? Well, you're right. Half of the platform has just a little bit more cushion than the rest of it, and it makes a huge difference at the end of the day. If you're throwing a thousand casts a day, it makes a huge difference. I mean, you're going to be standing on it for hours. And Dave, how long ago was it that bass fishermen came up with the idea of putting their bottom machines up here where they could see them while they're running their trolling motors? Well, not only that, too, I like the fact that they've, they've recessed the, uh, the foot control down level in the deck, because I used to fish tournaments ours was up on top of the deck and many times you hit a you hit a, either a stump or a weight comes by and I've almost gone over because you're out of balance right and you're not there your foot sits on there comfortably you can adjust the pressure adjust the speed of your trolling motor as you go well I was looking earlier at the construction because you know that's what excites me so many older boats on the market right now they have soft decks because wood that they were built out of wood will rot. You know, all it takes is for one screw to be embedded in the wood and not sealed good, water gets in there and rots the decks. That can never happen with this boat. We're standing on aircraft grade aluminum and all the, all the buckets underneath are poly. Dave, leave it to Skeeter. Of course, they've been building bass boats forever. They've got a pedestal seat that goes up front. But you know, you realize you can store 25 rods and reels below that deck. And I know many bass fishermen that leave with that many in their boxes. I don't know any bass fishermen that don't leave with that many in their boxes. And then all the tackle that they carry. A typical guy that's going out bass fishing for the day, he's got half of a tackle store with him. Oh, he's got 25 or 30 trays, plenty of room for all of them in there and the brackets to hold them. They thought out the below the deck space very well. I like the fact that you can bring it all when you need it. And when you're not using it, it's out of sight, it's out of the way. But when you get in, at the end of the day, you don't have to t take anything off your boat. You don't have to unload anything. Just leave it all on the boat, put it in the garage. You know what I heard about them freshwater guys? They don't even have to wash them off. They can just put them up and lock the doors. Yeah, we can't do that in salt water. But yeah, you get in the fresh water, there's a lot of benefits to it. Let me tell you something salt water guys haven't learned that you're going to love about this. Let's move a little further after and have a seat in these seats. Well, it's like sitting in your living room. I was watching you earlier and you just looked way too comfortable. I, Dave, it's like sitting in a Jaguar. I mean, it, it, it's just, you're so comfortable and you're so wrapped around. It's just, it's a completely different experience than any saltwater boat we've been in. Well, you know what, too? I, just, I like to say that the bass boats probably are designed with more safety in the fact that these boats are fast, very fast. It used to be that a 60 mile an hour boat was fast. Not anymore. These boats are 70, 75, 80 miles an hour. You're down inside the boat, and most of them have what's called a hot foot. That way you put it in gear with your normal throttle control, but to, to uh, control the speed of the boat, you've got an accelerator pedal. And if you come up to something, you need to slow down and get off that pedal very, very fast. Dave, with a full 20 feet to work with, you've got a lot of options. Well, everything's laid out where it should be. The rod storage on both sides, you've got a lot of tackle storage under the bow. Even your drink cooler is located in between the seats, so if we're making a long run from, from one fishing spot to the other, our drinks are right here. You've got a live well in the back that's divided so I can put my big fish on one side and your little bitty fish on the other side and more storage under the rear deck. And let me tell you, this boat is specially designed to bass fish. Of course you can brim fish and spec fish and do a lot of different things with it. 
But if you live for glitter paint, if you cannot sleep without dreaming about frogs on top of the water, tell you what, this Skeeter ZX225 might be the best boat for you.